Overall, you're getting materials, a lot of chests and weapon spines, fishing spots, and an easy rotation. I mean, come on, man. It's like, is there more you can ask for for a landing spot? Probably not. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, your biggest fan that is rooting for you, the guy that is in your corner, man. That is me. I don't care if the whole world is against you. Man, you got your motivation guy. That's right. Hey, man, keep going. Never give up. Never quit. Welcome back, guys, to another video. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3 is finally upon us. I hope you guys are excited just like me. And Midas' device completely failed and resulted in the whole Fortnite map flooding. This brought us brand new POIs loot spot and so many other changes but in this video guys we're gonna be focusing specifically on pois and loot spots all right today we're gonna be going over some amazing new landing spots that you need to try out in fortnite season three now i know many of you guys just like these landing spot videos because of the fear that everyone's gonna land there and you know land at your spot and the cat's out of the bag i get it but just keep in mind man there are like millions of players in the game and dozens of servers so there's really really no need to worry your secret is safe with us and with the new season, guys, I got a question to ask you guys. What is your favorite landing spot in the brand new Fortnite season? Let me know down in the comments which new spots is your favorite. All right, guys, it's about that time. Butcher Grunts Army, it's time to scream this out. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Where is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, I'm hype. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so I got a special announcement to make just to let you know, I do read all of your comments every single video, and I really appreciate you guys. So we've been hearing all the requests um, about me making my own personal story, and it's about that time, all right? It's time to show you guys my own personal story and how I made it to where I am today. So the goal is gonna be to really inspire you guys to persevere past all of your obstacles. And so I'm glad to announce that I'm going to be making my own story for you guys at 1 million subscribers. So help us get there, guys. Share the story you know let people know about the channel and i'm telling you guys we're going to release my story once we hit the 1 million mark also you know connect with me make sure to follow me at your motivation guy so excited guys okay guys the first spot on this list is an insanely underrated spot with five chests guaranteed full shield and a guaranteed launch pass the name of the spot is pontoon and honestly from the looks of it you, you never expect this spot to be one of the best on the map but the pontoon has one very interesting trait and that's how it moves around the map you'll pretty much never find it in the same spot two games in a row but when you do see the pontoon all right which is more of a rare occurrence than an actual consistent landing spot you gotta be sure to drop there because it's honestly one of the best solo spots in the entire game when you land at the pontoon man the best way to do it is just really by simply landing on top of the deck and making your way into the boat breaking the different boxes and furniture for materials along with breaking all the slurp barrels to max out on shield you're gonna end up finding your guaranteed launch pad in the supply drop box on the bottom deck which will also have a guaranteed purple or high rarity weapon Overall, the pontoon really, really isn't the type of landing spot you're going to be able just to go every single game. But when you do see it, definitely consider checking it out when you come across it. All right, guys, second up is a new spot to the game, and we consider it one of the best solo drop spots there is. Rickety Rig. In particular, these bottom islands, all right? Rickety Rig is perfect for solos for a few reasons. The positioning on the map is absolutely perfect. It's at the bottom of the map, which means the chances of players routing to you aren't high. Neither are the amount of players who even land there. Now, because it's at the bottom of the map, some of you guys may be worried about rotations, all right? I get it. Okay, lucky for us, Rickety Rig has a whirlpool on the right-hand side of the islands. This is basically a free launch pad, all right? So it has good rotations. Okay, well, what else does it have? Well, it has all kinds of materials, that's for sure, man. From wooden pallets to metal shipping containers, we do admit that brick is a little harder to get to on this island, but don't worry, we thought about that too. Okay, so if you take a trip east, you're definitely gonna be met with a lot of brick that way, right? So don't say we didn't have you guys back. Okay, now you're wondering, what about loot? All right, <laughs> let me just take you on a little journey. So you're gliding in. You wanna land up top of the main building. So there are three rooms on top of each. 
which has a weapon spawn in them so you can just try and see what the weapons are on approach so you can just play your route ahead jump off and go inside all right collect the chest in the building then make your way out left towards the single building and just grab the chest inside then into the building on the docks grab the freezer and the chest above right double back on yourself back past the main building and don't forget to collect metal on the way all right two more chests now before we make our way towards the slurp barrels break these if you need a shield my favorite love them finally one more chest inside and two weapon spawns behind the building conveniently by the whirlpool a free launch pad out of there for any early rotation to the safe zone right now i'm not normally good at math <laughs> I was actually horrible in math growing up. Don't ask me why. I hate it. But um, it's all good. But that's a lot of chest. It really, really is, all right? Overall, you're getting materials, a lot of chests and weapon spines, fishing spots, and an easy rotation all in one quick situation. I love it. I mean, come on, man. It's like, is there more you can ask for for a landing spot? Probably not. Okay, so if you guys want to master job spots, there's no better person suited to help you than our pro coaches on our website, man. Feel free to check out ProGuides.com, where we have even more awesome, exclusive content from top pros, along with live interactive lessons from some of the best in the entire world. I can't believe it. They're here at ProGuides. Wow, amazing. Link is in the description. All right, next up is a building which is between Frenzy Farm and Steamy Stacks, got it? We are calling it Storage Building. We wanna give you options, so we're looking at spots around all points of the map. This allows you to change spots depending on the bus route if you're looking to avoid high drops. This building has three different layers to it with multiple chests and weapon spawns throughout. Also, you will know straight away if someone is landing with you because it's such a small landing zone, it would be really, really hard for someone just to sneak up on you. Once the building is looted, there are multiple fish spawns around the area and small islands which actually have their own chest or weapon spawn. Okay, so to complete this route, I would recommend checking the route for the weapon spawns and land on whatever gun you're most comfortable with. Then make your way through the door and just work your way down each floor. And show you break open each garage door because a lot of them will have weapon and chest spawns, right? There is also a vent on the second follow. Go through it and just place two cones next to each other and the chest will break. Once you complete all three floors, you can just fish around the island and just get materials. Okay, last tip about this place. There is an upgrade machine on the bottom floor. Go get it. Overall, I say that this landing spot is really, really good if you're looking for a quiet landing spot where you want to play time and just work for placement, all right? You get decent materials, man. You get fish potential and rotating from this area is easy because you could just go in any direction depending on the circle. If you wanna go looking for an engagement, you could just head towards one of the POIs or you could just head south towards unnamed areas of the map and avoid players altogether. I know a lot of you guys like to do that. <laughs> However, maybe quiet isn't for you, because it's definitely not for me. I gotta get some action, for real, for real. Okay, so if you're looking for more of an engagement off spawn type of a landing spot, you know what I mean? Like a buffet, all the eliminations that you can get, we have got one of those coming up, so you gotta stick around. Moving into our third spot, we've got a much more secluded location for those of you who might not like fighting as much. This spot is the restaurant in the middle of the water between Pleasant Park and Frenzy Farm. Okay, start by landing on top of the roof, at the tip, you know, uh, top of the building, and breaking this flag for some extra wood, all right? Then pickaxe straight down, you're gonna find a chest and floor loot spawn at your feet. Then build a floor right next to you and just pickaxe into the other small section of the roof to potentially find another piece of floor loot, okay? Then simply just head down into this big room right over here. Yeah, like right here, which has a ton of floor loot as well, right? Six slurp barrels, yes, 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 sir, and a chest. So just head down the stairs to the next floor where you're gonna find another floor loose spawn. During this process, unless you're contested, do not use shields. Don't, because you're gonna end up getting just more slurp barrels. So, you know, why not? Then quickly, quickly loot the restaurant area. Feel free to farm some of the booth seats for easy metal and just grab some loose spawns. And finally, head into the bottom floor where you're gonna find a bunch of extra slurp barrels to top off your shield and metal. So you're good to go, man, like for the rest, the rest of the game, all right? And there's gonna be two different rooms on the north side of this bottom floor, each of which will have another chest. Overall, this spot will net you four total chests, an absolute ton of floor loot. I mean, you're gonna have good materials and guaranteed full shield. Wow, it's like heaven. You can either stick around after looting and just utilize the upgrade bench on the bottom floor, which you always should do like every single time, or simply grab a boat and just rotate out. This spot is also not too far from the center of the map, so you may be able to spend some extra time looting and farming up before rotating out, making the upgrade bench a very, very helpful option. Wow, this spot is amazing.
This spot is an absolute beast for tournaments and pretty, pretty good for any other passive playstyle as well. Sometimes you're gonna run into one or two people here, right? But generally, it shouldn't be heavily contested. But this next one is sort of a hybrid spot, all right? Meaning that you can play both passive and aggressive from it. You guys ready? Here we go. Moving into the fifth and final spot on this list, we got the island just west of Pleasant Park. This island is basically a massive dump, <laughs> but the loot sure isn't. The current best way to play this spot is by first landing near the bush on the west side of the island, grabbing the chest at this campsite, all right? If you get shields, feel free to head into the bush real fast to pop them safely. I know a lot of you guys love playing in the bush. And then head up to this turquoise colored house over here where you're gonna find a cooler out front with a free fish, all right? And a slurp barrel to farm for an easy shell. Then head inside and grab two extra slurp barrels and break the floor above the kitchen area for another chest. From here, and I mean like right here, you got a ton of options, all right? But what I would suggest, you know, is head right next door to the small, darkest blue house and grab the floor loop, ammo crate, and once again, break above the kitchen to reveal another chest. Then simply just head out the door to grab some wood. And finally, my last movement would be is, you know, get into the red house, all right, where another chest is available along with floor loot once again. Also in the kitchen area of this house, there's gonna be a little box on the counter, which may be worth breaking, all right, because it'll drop some of the brand new fruit consumable items, which are cool. These are basically the 4-H fruits, like, you know, coconuts, apples, mushrooms, and a few others, but in item form, all right? So if you have an extra item slot, then maybe we're carrying. All right, so from this point, you have plenty of options, man. Like this island is actually insanely stacked with loot. So, you know, you're gonna have plenty of other loot to get, or you can just also fight, rotate out, or anything else that you can think of, all right? Typically, you know, it's really good to just W key a bit after winning this spot, just because you typically come out with decent loot, but it's ultimately up to you. I know, I would do it. Let's quickly recap all the spots we talked about before finishing up, all right, you ready? Here we go, real quick. First off is the pontoon, all right? Now, the pontoon isn't the type of spot that you wanna just land at every game. But if you do ever see it, definitely give it a shot, guys. I recommend it because it definitely has some of the most OP loot in the game and is really contested. All right, second is a drop spot that has all the fundamentals you want in a drop spot. Rickety rigs, bottom islands have it all. From loot, materials, rotations, this is just a great solo drop spot. So if you're looking for a quiet game and you really wanna play for a placement by avoiding engagement, then this building is just for you. You can decide if you wanna go looking for an engagement or if you just rather, you know, a more risk-free approach, you have the options to avoid the POIs. Okay, fourth, if you're a more passive player and you want decent loot and consistent in games, then you should check out the Floating Restaurant, all right? This spot has guaranteed full shield, great materials, right? Solid loot and a central position on the map so you won't have to run 10 miles to each circle. Isn't that nice? And finally, the last spot on this list and one of my personal favorites so far is the Dump Island by Pleasant Park. This island has a layout that's great for fighting, but also isn't too contested and also has amazing loot. You know, also slurp barrels, my favorite, an upgrade bench, gotta have that, and so much more. This spot is just really great for both solos and duos and might even be worth considering for trios. So definitely give it a shot if you're interested, all right? You know, but what we said, guys, I really hope you guys are all enjoying this new season so far. And, you know, I really hope these new landing spots really, really help you out with whatever your goals are. Whether you're trying to place in tournaments, climb an arena, or really just get some wins in public matches. Like, whatever your goals are, like, I'm happy for you. I'm rooting for you. And I really hope these landing spots and loot routes, you know, are going to help you out a ton. I really do believe that. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, <laughs> your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man, the guy that is rooting for you, the guy that is cheering for you, the guy that is obsessed with just motivating you to be great. I can't help it. I just, that's all I want for you to be great, not only this game and also in life. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it and let us know down in the comments what you want to see next, along with what your favorite landing spot is right now in this brand new season. And finally, 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 check out Pro Guys Community Discord, man. It is going down so cool. You're missing out if you're not doing it so far, all right? If this link is going to be in the description, along with our brand new subreddit, r slash Pro Guys, where you can actually find even more content. And with that being said, have an amazing, amazing day, man. Stay positive. I love you guys. Hey, we'll see you soon. Peace.